Open lache using double suture button fixation. The patient is positioned in the half beach chair and a vertical incision made from the tip of the coracoid downwards 8cm. The delta pectoral groove is then opened up and the conjoint tendon and coracoid exposed. The coracoacromial ligament and the pec minor have been taken off and the top of the coracoid is being prepared. The osteotomy is then performed using a curved osteotome. The slither of the elbow of the coracoid is then removed and then the undersurface of the coracoid is decorticated to expose a nice bleeding cancellous surface. The coracoid is then held in the jig and the arms spun round to choose the desired position. Two 2.8mm drill holes are then made 1cm apart. For this smaller patient the drill holes are nicely contained within the coracoid bone stock. A subscout pilaris split is made, the capsule held with the retaining sutures and the anterior glenoid nicely decorticated. The half slit cannula is then introduced posteriorly and the drill guide arm shuttled over the top and positioned on the front of the glenoid. The rest of the guide is assembled posteriorly and the drill bullets inserted down onto the back of the glenoid. The superior and then inferior sleeve drill guide is then inserted from the back you can see the two drill sleeves positioned above and below the drill guide anteriorly on the front of the glenoid. The prepared coracoid is then flipped back up into the optic field and the superior and inferior suture buttons inserted and docked into position. A monofilament shuttle suture is then passed posteriorly through the inferior tube and retrieved from the anterior joint. The tail of the superior suture button is passed through the shuttle loop and carefully pulled through posteriorly. This is repeated for the superior button and when both the suture loops are pulled the coracoid comes into position. Posteriorly a button is loaded onto the inferior sutures and each knot tied. This is then pulled tight and tensioned under newtons and tied off and repeated for the superior button. This fixes the coracoid securely in the inferior quadrant with no lateral overhang. An osteoraptor anchor is then inserted on the anterior articular surface of the glenoid just between the two suture buttons. The retractors are removed and the limbs of the suture anchors are shuttled through the stay sutures that were passed through the capsule at the beginning of the case. These are then tied, obtaining a nice extra articular position for the coracoid graft. Post-operative images show the graft nicely positioned in the inferior quadrant and evidence of an anchor from previous surgery. If you'd like to see more instructional videos of all types of shoulder surgery, visit my YouTube channel Cambridge Shoulder or my website cambridgeshoulder.co.uk.